Welcome folks. In this session I'm going to show you guys the two different views for both Agent DVR and ZoneMinder, what they look like on a mobile device. On the left here I have Agent DVR recording that I did on my mobile phone. Uh, I'm using an Android. Uh, and on the right is ZoneMinder. So I'm not going to go through the entire session. I just want to talk about some of the main pain points or the look and feel and i'm going to open up google chrome and i'm going to use the developer view to show you guys a little bit hopefully in a clear view the difference right so you guys can have an idea what it might look like on a mobile device i don't have a mobile app this is just using browser sessions right uh, nothing special opening a browser i do tend to use agent dvr on a browser to access it from outside my home network with a VPN and with a reverse proxy, I will have a session on uh, reverse proxies to set up already uploaded, but I will be adding a little bit more about how to securing it using HTTPS. So uh, stay tuned for that session. But this is the basic view. So on the right, if I play the zone minder, so this is what it looks like when you load zone minder, when you go to the console, this is the console view. <laughs> this is the what they call the mo montage or uh, cycle view uh, but i want to really show you guys okay that is i want to show you the recording which is really goofy so this is what the okay i'm going to pause it so you see at the bottom left little black thumbnail there right that's what the video you have recorded looks like on a mobile phone Literally, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's that's what it is. So good luck playing it, right? I tried playing around with different scale sizes here. So I was like, okay, let's use the actual size. This is what then I then I you can't see the controls at the bottom. You're like, okay, how do I play it, right? So zone minder definitely not built for mobile mobile view, basically. You, you probably need a dedicated app for zone minders i am going to pause this uh, this is one of the pain points with zone minder that i don't like i'm going to show you the same thing here with agent dv on the left playing I choose the recordings and let's go okay so this is the recording view right so i'm going to fast forward that and here we go that's the recording view so looking on the left versus looking on the right right you can't see the entire frame even if you choose different views and whatnot but on the left agent dvr shows you a perfect a shrunk version perfect resolution i'm down downloading on agent dvr the video file itself to play on my mobile phone the quality is pretty good on the mobile phone it's the same as you would uh, expect from my mp4 file right uh, from your camera feed whatever your camera feed is set up here's one more thing that i want to show you about agent dvr real quick is the fact that you can actually search for the timelines that was the timeline view you can look at the various events that happened on the timeline i don't know if i have figured that out on zone minder yet i don't know if it's easy enough to do the timelines but yeah, here's the so i downloaded the file i'm gonna play that so it's like a crispy view pretty decent quality right you can do all this stuff right off your phone. Don't have to have a dedicated app for Asian DVR. Everything just works, right? All right if I fast forward this, uh, I want to show you guys there. Uh, this is the part that I want to show you guys. So I was looking for the certain time frame from 5.02 to 5.03 time frame. So you can select and choose. So what did I do here? Uh, you can choose at the bottom you have a search icon there i click the search icon the magnifying glass basically and i you can pick and choose the time so you can define when to look for an event from this to this right start to end and once you've done that you just click ok and there you go all the events show up for all the camera feeds like whichever one you want to look at you can look at them Yeah, there and then you can zoom in zoom out as you would expect and that's it right that's agent dvr for you 
pretty decent if i try to do i don't know if you can even do that on zone minder but we're gonna actually try that now with the browser view but this is this is literally the view like <laughs> look at the bottom there like that's what the yeah but but if you do play the clip uh that was the playing it, the quality is pretty decent it's the same right Wh whatever your camera is pushing out is what you'll get so but again uh the look and feel definitely is much better on agent dvr so let's pop open the console on zone minder and uh, if i got the f12 opens the there you go my developer tool and I choose the mobile view i'm going to minimize that so i can pick and choose the device uh, let's go full screen on that f11 i think yeah there you go and I'm going to choose full 100%. So this is the view that you saw on uh, the media player VLC that was playing, right? So this is uh, mimicking an iPhone X or iPhone 10, I should say. And then let's look at the events we were looking at. Let's look at the, one of the events anyways. So what it looks like, I'm going to just pick one. Let's say, show me this. <laughs> so sorry, sorry, I'm laughing, but I shouldn't. But this is what it looks like. So at the bottom right, you see that if I do actual, like everything is like cut off and then control wise, I can't even see the play button at now anymore. So if I use three fourths, I should be able to get some controls back. But again, I don't like, I, I don't know, right? Like this is goofy. Now I can get the controls. Well, barely, uh, let me shrink this a little bit more than you can see so there you go controls show up but this is the feed um you can min you can maximize it if i can only get that icon come on there should be yeah i can't see the okay let me change the scale to actual see if i get that yeah there you go so you can maximize it again yeah it's like cut off and whatnot it's like yeah like Good luck. Good luck playing a recording or an event on Zone Minder. Like that's that's what I'm trying to say, right? So you can do a bunch of other things. Well, why would you need to view your DVR? Probably you accessing it through mobile phone, looking at events. So if you can't even look at the events right properly, like I don't know. And this is the view for uh, you with the judge, right? So we're gonna use the iPhone 10. Uh, there you go. And then <laughs> this is the view from Agent DVR. So if I look at the, I don't want to power off. Let's look at the recordings. Recordings. Can we look at the? So yeah, I'm gonna just pick one, right? So. Uh, what is it trying to do? Uh, I'm not sure why this is. What am I doing here wrong? Yeah, I don't have the, well, maybe it's different on iPhone, huh? Let me try Galaxy Note. No, it's the same. So, yeah, I didn't see this checkbox option. Oh, this doesn't look right. Toggle, oh, this is the toggle edit mode. Uh, NQ mode, okay. Oh, sorry, I had clicked on the edit. That's why, the, okay. No, okay, I see what the problem was. So, I clicked on this bottom left pencil icon and that's why you were seeing that i wasn't actually in the edit mode so that's how you would delete a video file as well if you wanted to if you want to clear everything you can choose delete right you can delete everything but we're not going to do that you can exit the edit mode and look at the camera feed let's look at one of them you click on it then that's the view you get right so um, it can it picked up a motion detection a car was passing so that's how like you, you can zoom in you can zoom out you can do a bunch you can uh, do the next clip like at just one location you don't have to really go back to live recording timelines you can just toggle through clips you can just go next previous previous or whatever like right you can pick and choose you can do timelines you can define everything it's so much better so personal personal winner like whatever uh, you want to call it i would pick it i would put agent dvr as my go-to solution till they i guess disable 
completely some other free features that you know are really important then yeah then i'll probably go back to so i will try zone manager maybe if i have to pay i'll just use blue iris right i heard it's a good software so i never tried blue iris it's a paid version so but just want to show you guys the difference between the two views and then what to expect from them if you just want to use the mobile phone zone manager does have a paid version of zoba uh, like zone i think it's called yeah somebody built a mobile app i think it's a paid version i don't know if it's too expensive but again if you want to use that go ahead use it if you're able to configure your console properly and if it's working fine for you guys like, uh, you'll be the judge right so but for me definitely the winner is agent dvr uh, at the time of this recording at least but a few years few months down the road don't know i might have to switch we'll see thanks guys Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay safe.